Hi folks, it's Richard from Inclusive Drive Inc. Welcome to another whiteboard video. And in this video, we're going to talk about advisory speed limits. So here's an example that was used by another driving instructor. We have a section of road which has very recently been re uh, resurfaced. So the roadworks have been done and the road workers have packed up and gone home, but they have left a warning sign at the side of the road with the man with the shovel. There's my bad drawing, that's the roadwork sign. And underneath it, It says max 10 miles an hour. And the question was, do we have to do 10 miles an hour or can we go faster? This is an advisory speed limit. Let's change the scenario for a moment. If there was a red circle, with the speed limit in it. Not that you ever see a 10 mile an hour speed limit like that. We, the minimum we see is 20. But if, it, if the speed limit was in a red circle, that is non-negotiable, that is compulsory. We must not exceed 10 miles an hour. But in this situation, it's not in a red circle it is advisory. So we have to make a decision based on what is the risk at the time. Now, for example, if the road had been resurfaced, let's say an hour ago, and you got there, there might be lots of loose chippings in the road, loose gravel, loose stones. They could very easily be flicked backwards at the, from the back of your car by your wheels into the windscreen of the following car or into the face of a pedestrian or cyclist, something that is going to cause damage or injury. If we can feel or hear that gravel being thrown up under our car, then perhaps 10 miles an hour is appropriate. Let's say the roadworks were done a few days ago now, all of these loose chippings have either been squashed into the road surface or more likely the passing vehicles have pushed it to the side of the road. If we can't feel or hear those loose chippings anymore, then the risk is probably lower and we can use our judgment and we can go faster than 10 miles an hour. It might not be appropriate to go up to what would be the normal speed limit for that road. As you increase your speed, assess the risk. Can you now hear gravel? Can you feel gravel? What do you feel about the width of the road? Is some of it still marked off with traffic cones? Are the verges, the grass verges, are they soft? Are there still road workers still working in the road? Any of those scenarios might make me think, well, perhaps 10 miles an hour is appropriate or perhaps 20 miles an hour is appropriate, but not 30, which would be maybe the normal speed. The key is this is an advisory speed limit and we can use our judgment. Let me give you another couple of scenarios where we have advisory speed limits. So here we have another road and this is a school. We have the warning sign to say there are children around. 
let's try and draw that so that is along with two children holding hands consider the time of day let's say under here we have 20 miles an hour it's not in a red circle so it's not compulsory this is advisory assess the risk at the time you are there can you see children around is it school holiday is it quarter to nine in the morning where children are going to school is it around about three o'clock in the afternoon where children are leaving school if you can't see any children around or it's a time when you're not expecting children to be around maybe it's appropriate to go faster than 20. If it's really busy, first thing in the morning where everybody is flooding into the school, perhaps 10 minutes before the school bell goes, maybe 20 is too much. Maybe we need to be doing 15 or 10. It's advisory, assess the risk at the time you are there. One more example. We have a road with a bend in it. And we've been given a warning sign to tell us of the bend to the right. Again, underneath it, let's say maximum speed 20. It's advisory. Depending on the weather conditions, depending on the road surface, depending on what other vehicles are around, it might be appropriate to do 20. When it's been given for a bend, my thought process is that is there for a reason. This is not something that changes according to the time of day. It's not something that changes according to how recently the road was resurfaced. That bend is always there. So my feeling is 20 is being advised for a good reason. However, it is advisory, not compulsory. Well, I hope that's been useful to you. If you are enjoying these whiteboard videos, please do give them a like on YouTube. That helps me. It inspires me to generate more videos like this. Well, thanks for watching and we'll see you on another video very soon. <laughs>